एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So in our previous part, we have studied about the various searching techniques and various sorting techniques. Okay. Now in this part, we will study about the complexities. What is the complexity of any algorithm? Hi, myself, Dr. Shri Har Shatri, and uh, welcome to S Chand Academy. Before going ahead, I recommend you these books of engineering from S Chand. publishing so what is complexity and what is the meaning of finding the complexity the complexity means how much your algorithm is efficient okay this is uh, 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 efficiency means how your algorithm is working uh, fast is your algorithm is taking the more space is, is your algorithm is time consuming or not so how to identify this so the concept to identifying this time or space is called time complexity and space complexity so time complexity is what the amount of time taken by an algorithm to run and the space complexity is working space or storage is taken by the algorithm to execute the certain program that is called space complexities but right now in today's era uh, we are more focused on time complexity and less focused on space complexity so we are focusing in this lecture we are focusing on the time complexity because now the space is increasing day by day so to understand the concept of time complexity let's have a practical example so there are 24 different child there are 24 different children out of this 24 children the one children is having a pen and we have to identify that uh, which person uh, which particular which child is having a pen so what is the process to identify the which uh, which particular child is having a uh, pen so let's take the one way there are three ways as i have searched the one way is this is the first person i am asking from this person do you know do you know out of this 23 who is having the pen so no this person says no okay so now i am asking from this particular person do you know out of these how uh, which uh, who's who is having the pen so n times it is searching n times it is searching okay so how many times it becomes this becomes n into n okay so it becomes n square so my time complexity is what here to find out the pen the complexity to find out the pen is becomes n square okay now the second is i am going to this person asking about that do you have pen now now this, uh, this person do you have a pen so to now the this child do you have a pen do you have a pen so there are 24 child there are 24 children so i am going towards the 24 times so my n is if there are n children so that means n times i have to move so my complexity is become n so this is much easier than this one okay if there are 24 students then 24 times i am there if there are 100 students then 24 uh, then 100 times i am asking from the children do you have a pen or not the third way is i split this in two parts okay one part is this another part is this now i am searching that do you have a pen now i have i have got a clue that yes this part is having a pen so i will ignore this particular part so my time is become less my time is divided okay then again i divide this part in two so i will focus in this and this only so now i um, i got a clue that this particular part is having my pen so i will again divide this here in this part so same i am dividing the things in the different different parts so when i dividing the things my searching my searching time becomes very less so this is called the concept of time complexities and when we are dividing this so that means we are talking about log n 
okay so uh, now arranging all these things in the form of computation uh, computers uh, in the computation of computer science so n square n and log n so in uh, in computation we call time uh, there are uh, notation is called asymptotic notation so by, uh, if we want to know the complexities of an algorithm we must know the asymptotic notation of an algorithm which is refers to defining the mathematical foundation of its runtime performance okay there are three types of runtime performance best average and worst so o n square what is the meaning of o here o is order of order of n square is the worst order of n is the average and order of 1 is the best one so there are we 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 will focus when we talk about the time complexities we must focus on the order of best average and worst so when we talk about the uh, efficiency of any algorithm we must focus on the worst case what is the worst case of an algorithm if the worst case is o n square that means the time complexity is very very hard that time complexity is very very hard if the worst case is o n that means it's a very good okay and if the best case is o one what does it mean i am asking from this person do you have a pen and he is saying yes i am having a pen this is the best case because i don't know uh, i don't have to ask from other one from first person i am asking and that person is having a pen this is the called the best case now how to calculate the uh, algorithms efficiency first is constant time the arithmetic statements like this x equal to x plus y x equal to x star y x equal to x star x plus y by 2 so these are the various arithmetic expressions and these expressions take constant time okay so uh, there is a the, when we execute the simple statements or simple arithmetic expression it takes the constant time so whatever the values of the variable x and y exists the execution time remain the constant so that's why it is called constant time the next is linear loops now this is the important concept what happens this is the for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 100 i plus plus that means this loop will run 100 times if the value is n then the this loop will run n times so that's why the complexity of this particular loop is n or we can say in terms of we go it is o n because this particular loop will run n times second is for i equal to 0 i less than 100 i plus equal to 2 it means what this loop is increasing two times it is jumping two times it is increasing one by one and it is i plus equal to 2 when this loop is increasing two times that means uh, the number of iteration is half the number of iteration becomes half so the complexity becomes n by 2 here so this is the concept of linear loop when the single loop is there and the loop is increasing by 1 by 1 it becomes on and why when the when the loop is increasing by 2 then it becomes n by 2 and, and if the loop is loop is increasing by 3 times or so 4 times then it becomes n by 3 or n by 4 then the third concept to find out the algorithm efficiency is nested loops we uh, we call it quadratic loop as well nested loop means loop inside the loop we have already studied this so what happens here for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus for j equal to 0 j is less than 10 j plus plus this loop is the inner loop this is the outer loop so when i equal to 0 see j will run from j will run from 0 to 10 so 10 times it will run okay then again i plus plus i equal to 0 i equal to 1 then again j will run 10 times and this process will happen till the i is not equal to 10 okay so that means what if it is n and it this is also n so this runs n time this is also run n time so that means it becomes n into n or you can say n square so this is if your algorithm works in this manner this is the worst condition of the algorithm 
I hope the concept of this uh, nested loop is there. The nested loop is works in in this manner. Okay, this is a, there are two nested loops, so it works in n square. If there are three nested loops, then it works in n cube. If there are four nested loops together, then it works in n four, and so on. Again, it depends on the loops to loop how the loop is working. So it is not every time that if the there are three nested loop that uh, it becomes n cube. No, it depends on the loop how the loop behavior of the loop how the loop is working. So now the next is big O or big O H notation. Let's understand the algorithm complexities using this simple example. Algorithm one is having a time complexity of n square and algorithm two is having a time complexity of five n. So which is the best one? Let's suppose n is one, two, three, four, five, six. That means how many times this particular condition will work when it is one. So n square is one and t two is al uh, algorithm. The algorithm uh, two will work is five times. So when the n is two, it is four. Algorithm one is four. Algorithm two is ten, three, nine, fifteen. And see here when the n the value of n is five, both are giving, both are taking the equal time. That is twenty five and twenty five. Okay, but when it is six, what happens here? This n square is taking more time than algorithm two. Okay, this algorithm one is taking more time than algorithm two. So, at this particular point, the values are same, or we can say when the values are less than this point, the performance of algorithm one is better than the performance of algorithm two. But when the both are reaches at the same level. After that, if the value of n is increases, if the value of n becomes ten, so this is ten square. Ten square is hundred, and this is five n. Five to ten fifty. That means it will take algorithm two take lesser time than the n square. So the conclusion is this: algorithm two is best because. When n equal to five, both algorithm take same time, and when n four n is greater than five, algo two will take less time compared to algo one. So this is how we can compare the complexities of various algorithms. So this was a small introduction of uh, the topic time complexity. It was it is a very vast topic time complexities. So uh, uh, in a very short. i have explained you the basic and fundamental things of time complexities i recommend you these engineering books from s chand publishing if you like the video please do not forget to like subscribe and share and press the bell icon This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.